Oh, we made it. Yeah, the Super Bowl was cool, but frankly, no Tommy Brady, no Stewie Lackey. Brian, there you are. Come quick, they're about to announce the unveiling of your statue on the news. Statue? For what? What do you think, Mr. National Hero? For stopping the 9-11 terrorist attacks and saving our country. Oh, you, I can't even express how mad I am at you right now. If it wasn't for you, those planes would have hit the World Trade Center. Brian, what the hell did you do? I, uh may have told my former self about 9-11. What did I tell you about altering the past? Wait, wait, when did you even do that? Well, you remember when I said I was going to take a leak? Brian, you shouldn't have done that. Who knows what unforeseen consequences are awaiting us? Saddam Hussein could be president. Mexico could be the world's dominant superpower. Cookie Monster could have invented Facebook. What is this? Cookie Book. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al Qaeda. Here, make sure you get all this. <laughs> Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed Ada stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. 